What is up, Cratics? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles that I never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. Again, guys, let me know down below in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you guys want me to customize next, and I will display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Karen Fudo. So, this is an OG vehicle that came out with the game since day one. However, it was originally introduced in GTA 4. Now, this car has a normal price of only $9,000, or you can steal it right off the street and store it for free, which is pretty amazing. I can only imagine what this car would cost if Rockstar were to add it in GTA today, probably like $600,000 or something ridiculous like that. And with the introduction of the After Hours update, Rockstar actually went back in and gave livery options to this car, definitely making it a car worth coming back to customize and 100% worth having in your garage. Now keep in mind that this car is in the sports car class, so it's definitely a car you use for drifting and fun and not really racing, <laughs> more for messing around. But anyways, this car is primarily based on the Toyota AE86, which is one of the most well-known JDM cars out there, mainly thanks to Initial D. The in-game version is unfortunately the fixed headlight version. I think the pop-up headlight version would have been a lot cooler, but nonetheless, it's still an awesome little drift car with pretty good customization for being an OG vehicle. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of this OG drifting machine. Alright, here we go, Fudo. What do you want? Here we got armor. Alright, so before I continue, I want to touch on the armor upgrade. I've been getting a few comments in some of my videos, people asking me, why do I put the armor upgrade on the car? It's a waste of money, it slows your car down, all this stuff. Well, first of all, the armor upgrade does not slow vehicles down in GTA. I don't know where that came from. Now, obviously, if we think about it logically, you know, armor slowing down your car, it does make sense as to why people would think that. But when has Rockstar ever been logical with vehicle modifications? In GTA, the armor upgrade does not slow your vehicle down, does not impact your performance at all. So why do people like me install it? The reason most of the community installs it is because it increases the strength of your vehicle. I'm sure you've driven around many times in races where somebody hits you, where you crash very hard, and one of your wheels bend inward. Now the armor upgrade doesn't prevent that, but it does make it so that your vehicle is stronger and it will take many more impacts or a very, very hard impact for that wheel to bend. And wheels bending definitely impacts your performance and your steering and the way your car handles. It can completely ruin your race or whatever you're doing. So that's why people install the armor upgrade 100% so that they have the most strength possible so it doesn't impact their car's performance. So it actually helps you instead of hurting you. Short version for that. So let's go ahead and continue. We got brakes, bumpers. So you got a custom front splitter, pretty much an extension of the stock one. And we get a tow hook. So that's nice. Rally bumper, you get fog lights. Okay retro racer kit so it gives you front splitter and a wide body crazy <laughs> looking wide body there personally i don't really like the wide body too much i feel like it's a little like excessive especially with the bolts and stuff um i kind of personally prefer the uh the stock body that it has so a custom front splitter with a tow hook love that Your cosmetics are on point. rear bumpers so we got the custom rear bumper little extension then you got the drift bumper which is super low and you got the drift bumper with the charm. <laughs> uh, I think the drift one's a little too low for my taste. Um, I like the custom rear bumper, so we're going to do that. We got engine upgrade, yes. Exhaust. So we got stock. You got titanium tuner. Then you got the race exhaust, which sticks out some more. I like that. And then you got the <laughs> Shakotan exhaust. <laughs> oh, it looks ridiculous. All right. Race exhaust. You got grill, black grill, and then you got remove grill. So pretty much the uh, black grill is a D badge stock grill, and then you got the no grill at all. Um, I like the black grill; you get that kind of clean look. 
I mean, it's pretty incredible how many upgrades this car has for being an OG vehicle. You know, grill options, bumpers, hood, a lot of great options on this car. And you can get it off the street for free, as I mentioned earlier. So, carbon, vented carbon. I love the vented carbon hood on this car. So we're going to do that. Got lights. I want to keep the stock kind of like yellow lights. We got liveries. So, you have the classic decals. So beforehand, before the After Hours update came out, the classic decal was forced on there. You couldn't take it off. There was no livery category for this car, at least not that I can remember. Um, but I do know that they added in all these crazy liveries that I'm going to be showing here, about 10 liveries they added. Um, so yeah. So the first one you got is the Boro Fudo livery. So it's a rusty livery pretty much. And you got the Drift Missile, even more rust. <laughs> crazy. You got the Karen Rally Team, love that. Legendary Racer, yes. Scandinavian, <laughs> okay. If you can think it, got the Team I Auto Exotic, yes. Rolling Dude number seven, love that. I'm probably gonna end up putting this one. I like this one a lot. Garage Drift, crazy looking livery there. And the Atasha Drift, of course. You always gotta have one of these livery options <laughs> for JDM cars. Oh boy, all right. So, definitely gonna do the Rolling Dude number seven. Love that one. Normally I wouldn't put a livery, but I feel like it really fits the car and it just looks super cool. All right, plate, I already got my JDM plate on there. I mean, I wanna keep it in white. I think that's pretty nice for that. Kind of like the uh, Japanese plates that are white respray so we're gonna do of course we're gonna do the white uh, but we'll spice it up a bit do a metallic white and then we'll go to secondary we'll do a crew black nice and your crew emblem goes on the hood okay <laughs> and roll cage oh this one's cool in this car so you get a roll cage uh, obviously and then uh, only the driver's seat is a red racing seat, which is pretty funny. That's pretty cool that Rockstar did that. Do that. Roof. So you have a roof spoiler. I mean, normally I don't really like that. I feel like it kind of ruins the lines of the car, but eh, we'll throw it on there. Why not? Side skirts. A little extension there. Love that. And the livery continues there. Nice. Spoiler. So you have the stock plastic spoiler. Then you got a painted version of that. And you have to look at the traction bar. You'll see that it actually adds traction. So make sure you have one of these spoiler options on the car. Or, you know, depending on your drifting style, what, what you're going to use the car for. <laughs> you can have no spoiler. Maybe that will help you. I'm not sure. But my lip spoiler. And you got Ducktail, which I like that one a lot. It's like an extended version of a stock. And you got the GT wing. And then, of course, you got the drift wing, big wing. So. <laughs> I'm definitely going to do the ducktail. Love that. It's like an extended stock version of the stock. Your cosmetics are on point. We got suspension. So you get that. And they do camber in a little bit when you go down. See that cambering there. Very cool. Transmission. You know turbo. Wheels. All right. So we're going to go to the street category. And we're going to get the um, deep dish version of the stocks, which are... Do, do those right there yes looks incredible we're gonna paint them black of course oh yes 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 <laughs> it looks amazing and then we got windows we got window tints uh, I'm not sure if we should go like all the way blacked out or should we go like dark smoke I think the blacked out looks pretty cool in this car we'll do we'll do the limo and those are all the options there. I mean, not bad for such an older vehicle. Now let's take it out for a drive, exit to ground. Looks so, so cool. All right, here we go. Go first person. You can see the uh, Fudo logo on the RPM gauge there, very nice. But we'll get into the interior details at the end of the video when we open the doors and all that. Oh man, so cool. All right, floor it. Right about a wheel spin there. Pretty good acceleration. And this thing is pretty zippy for the, the car that it is, but it is in the sports car class, so 
that's probably why they threw it in there because it is it is pretty fast for what it is um the compact car class we have the club in there now which is extremely fast and i think the fudo would be pretty decently competitive with that car but i feel like they threw it in the sports car class because it was just too fast with the og compact cars such a such a cool car and it's it's very drift oriented or power slide oriented whatever anybody wants to say in the comments but um it literally drifts on its own like i didn't do that it did that on its own <laughs> you gotta be so so careful with this car it's very very loose um and once you fully upgrade it, it it just it goes so so fast and if you're not careful over the bumps and stuff when you steer it will drift on its own you gotta be very very careful and you can kind of catch it like right here let me see if i can get it to do it by on its own let's see yeah, like that's that's there on its own i break the bit but even if you're not breaking i mean if you're going really really fast and you just turn hard like that is it <laughs> <laughs> it drifts on its own. And drive it. Oh yeah. So it's, it's a it's just a fun car. <laughs> oh my gosh. A few corners. Sidewalk. I love this little car, it's so cool. So, so cool, especially you can get it off the street for free and customize it like this with liveries and everything. Great, great car. All right, let's go ahead and open all the doors. Got all, let's see. Yes, everything opens. So you have the door panels there, they say Fudo on it, look at that. Fudo GT all over the door panel. Then you got the racing seat we installed with the roll cage. Um, and this car, believe it or not, uh, for being a 2013 you know OG vehicle and brought over from GTA 4, Rockstar did a phenomenal job with the interior of this car. I mean, it's it's extremely extremely close to the its real life counterpart, the uh, A86. The interior, I mean, is almost copy and paste, very well recreated. Um, with almost all the details. I think Rockstar did a phenomenal job there. And the same thing with the engine bay as well. Very, very close engine model. The 1.6 liter in line 4. <laughs> awesome. Yes, yes. Awesome little car. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what vehicle you guys want me to customize next from 2015 and older. And I'll make sure to display your comments, the most liked comment from the comments section uh, for vehicle requests. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.